several weeks ago, mm-hmm. I was watching the, uh, the the Elton John tribute special. Right. And it was all great because I grew up listening to Elton John, and, and I, I bought both of the albums that are out now with all the greatest artists doing the, their greatest versions of his songs. Mm-hmm. And then when Marin Morris was sitting at that big dining room table and she started she started singing, I was like, oh my God. She started doing uh, Mona Lisa's and Mad Hatter's, one of my favorite songs. You came in the next morning and that's all you could talk about. I know. Totally obsessed. <laughs> and even and even though we played the middle, mm-hmm. you know, with uh with Marin and you know our buddy Zed and Gray, mm-hmm. we play it like every five minutes. Right. That's right. <laughs> but it's, it, the, the lyrics are they've always hit us hard. And I'm like, why isn't Marin Morris here with us? Yeah. Her song a, Rich is pretty awesome too. Well, I'm about to play that, but before we play that, we have to say good morning to Marin Morris. Hi, Marin. <laughs> Hi, guys. How are you? Good morning. Don't you love being all buttered up before the interview like that? <laughs> we were told we're not allowed to t- ask you any questions until you're actually in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> I know. The next time I'm I'm in y'all negative words, I'll I'll be there. Well, that would be awesome. Yeah. But first of all, uh, the album. We, 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 need an, we need another album. We'll get to that in a minute. We're going to be very demanding on this <laughs> on this phone call. Very demanding. But the, the, the first album, of course, came out uh, three years ago, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it would be two years this June. So okay. it feels like a lot longer because a lot of things have happened in these like two years. But um, yeah, it's it's almost two years old. Well, this is what I, I love about artists today, like you, Marin. It's it, it's like, well, I'm going to be honest with my fans, with my music and my songwriting, so they can know like where I am in life. Yeah. The things life is always changing, so it's like if 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 I had to depend on my lyrics and my music to be about my life, I would never be able to release anything because it's always moving forward. This new album, whenever it comes out, will be about a life you've already lived. I'm mm-hmm. assuming. So, when do you think we'll get it out? <laughs> Um, I'm actually in the studio this month and we're tracking and starting to record everything. And so, um, I go out with Niall Horan this summer. So I'm trying to get like the bulk of the album recorded before I leave for that tour. So, um, I'm, you know, hopefully it, it comes out a lot sooner than you think, but I'm finally like able to be off the road and, you know, I just got married. So I have, I have the time to, to really like hunker down and get in the studio. I'm sorry, Merritt. I, I, I don't approve of the, of the marriage. You don't have time for this. <laughs> <laughs> no time for happiness. I know this has nothing to do with your music, but you have never had a bad hair day. Oh, yes, I have. Oh, your hair, every hairstyle. And you're so beautiful because when you have that short haircut, I'm like, nobody can carry that off unless you look as good as you do. It's, you look so good. Oh, Thanks. Well, my mom is a hairdresser, so I like grew up in a salon my whole childhood. I think that's why I'm so restless <laughs> with my <laughs> my hairstyle. Well, you got to keep in mind you're you're from uh, what what city in Texas are you from? Arlington. Oh, Arlington. See, I'm from I'm from McKinney, Texas. You're familiar with McKinney, Texas? Yes. Oh my god, okay. that's crazy. <laughs> so, Marin Morris and I are from the land of Texas hair. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the land of hairspray. Well, even when I was younger, it was a whole different world. But anyway, yeah, Texans, we got to do our thing. Well, look, Marin, uh, when I was watching that Elton John special the other night, and you did that performance, and I, I know that from your perspective, you were doing a performance, and you you know you look great, and it, it, it sounded awesome. But from my perspective, at home watching it. It was truly a moving performance. Everything about it was great. Have you had a chance to go back and see what you looked like when you were doing that song? Um, Yeah, because the special actually aired on my birthday on April 10th last week. So I I was out on the road. We were doing some shows in California for the ACM Awards, and um, we just had a day off in Joshua Tree. And we were on our bus that night and got to watch the special and it was just so cool to see everything back and, you know, see all of my other favorite performances from the night. And um, I was just really, really proud of what we were able to accomplish that night. And, you know, you were saying that's one of your favorite Elton songs. Like that song had such a big impression on me as a kid, too. And um, so to be able to do my own you know, take on it and him be him and Bernie be so uh, accepting and uh kind about it it was 
you know, it, it took some of the nerves away performing it in front of the two of them. Well, you know, when Elton and Bernie, when Elton John approves of your performance, oh, you feel yeah. like you feel like the Queen of England, which <laughs> he basically is. The Queen of England is like, <laughs> yeah. like knighting you right there. But to be able to watch yourself perform, that must have been surreal. You know, it's really interesting. Maren Morris is on, by the way. Have you thought about all the songs from your past that sort of have, have made you who you are today? Because we have this, you know, this soundtrack of our lives. That really is a great exercise to write down yeah. like the top 12 songs that kind of formed you in your life. I, I don't know. So other than that song, is there any artist or other song that you go to? It, it kind of makes you think, yeah, this is a part of my history. Um, yeah, I mean, there's like a handful of those sort of artists, but I remember that, like having the biggest impression, you know, from a songwriter perspective, when I first heard Sheryl Crow. Right. Um, she, you know, she's a legend, and she, I love that she played bass, and she was beautiful and had such a unique voice and uh, lyrical perspective. And I, I, I'm like a definite '90s baby, so I kind of grew up in the era listening to her and Alanis Morissette and the Cardigans and <laughs> the Jewel, like all those girls had such a, a big um, impression on me as like a, a young girl and as a budding songwriter. Well, and you have something very much in common with all of the artists you just mentioned. I mean, you're, you're all, you're all owning it. Yeah. You know, they all owned it and continue to well, look by the way, uh, I'm going to play rich in just a second. Yes. Uh, we're going to get that on here. And also I want you to promise us, I promise it'll be a lot more fun than a phone call. Promise us when you're in New York, you'll come see us. We are just big fans of yours. Absolutely. I will. Absolutely. I, it's so funny. Like I'm, I was just talking to my best friend, Karina. She officiated our wedding, and she's like an English teacher here, and she grew up in Jersey. And she was like, I said, I, I keep um, seeing a couple tweets from Elvis Duran, and I've just, you know, never had the opportunity to, to talk to you guys because, you know, I'm typically from the country mm-hmm. world. And she was like, oh, my God, you have to talk to them. I, like, you know, grew up listening to that show. So uh, it's so, like, full circle that I'm doing this right yeah, now. Yeah, Marin, I got to admit it. We are, quite, we are quite a big deal. <laughs> and another thing I've, I, got, I have to say uh, congratulations on is you're going out on the road with one of our best friends, Niall yeah, Horan. we love him. We love yeah. Niall. And the fact that we can drop these boundaries, these walls between formats and just understand we are the universal world of music, yeah. I think that speaks volumes as right. well. So congratulations on that. Awesome. He's the best. I'm so excited to go out on the road with him and I'm so proud of him with his solo endeavor because uh, he's, just, he's such a great songwriter and such a cool down-to-earth guy. So yeah, um, Niall's I'm great. So I mean, other than the fact he's a golfer, he's a nice guy. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I don't know. Hey, <laughs> Froggy, you had a question from Aaron? Yeah, I do. I mean, you've toured with Keith Urban. You've been with the Thomas Rhett, Sam Hunt, all these people you've worked with. How exactly do you go from that and then now you've got a number one song with Zed. Did that ever cross your mind back when, say, 80s Mercedes is a big hit? Are you thinking of working with Zed? Um, you know, I'd always been a fan of Zed's, but never did I think we would cross paths. But, you know, now in the, the state of music, it's like the walls are coming down. And right. when he reached out with that song, it, I was just like, oh, you know, I've always wanted to work with him. And this song is just so undeniably a hit to me and it's I want to sing it already just after hearing it once and um yes and then by the time that I was recording my vocals with him in Nashville like a couple months ago like he was so kind and down to earth and I just felt like it, it felt really natural to be working together because he's a songwriter he's like a classically trained musician and I I just really connected with him and so it just didn't feel like a weird collaboration it just you know, if the song is right, then the mood is right. I, yeah, I thought it was so cool oh. watching the uh, ACMs the other night to see Reba McIntyre mention Zed, who I didn't even think she would know who Zed was, but to hear <laughs> Zed's name mentioned during the ACMs was awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's great. I, I just let's, let's tear down these walls. Yes. yes. And by the way, uh, yes. a lot of people came to know the middle uh, from the Target commercial. You don't get a discount over there, do you? <laughs> I know. I really wish I had like a tab. I could. They should <laughs> I give you like a lifelong. Free stuff. Yeah, you walk into Target and you walk out with like 
eight thousand pounds worth of stuff that yeah. you didn't know you needed. But anyway, but that but that aside, <laughs> Marin, thank you so much for spending time with us today. Come to New York. Come enjoy our show. We're having tequila sunrises right now mm-hmm. to start our day. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting it's going, Friday. and I'm gonna. Play, it is Friday. We're getting. We're getting fried. I'm, okay, I'm gonna play Rich. I'm also when we hang up. I'm gonna play a little piece of your performance, uh, the Elton John special, because I want everyone to hear a piece of that. But you go have a beautiful day, and thank you, Marin. Thank you so much for your music. Thank you, guys. I can't wait to meet you in person. I know we're fabulous. I can't wait to see your hair in person. <laughs> we're fabulous. <laughs> we're fabulous. <laughs> we can't wait to let you meet us. <laughs> yeah, we can't wait to expose our fabulousness to you. All right, have a beautiful weekend, Marin. Thank you so much.